a while since I was in front of you. I figure I'll stick to cards this time. <laughs> Truth is, I am Iron Man. He's been recognized with a SAG Award, three Golden Globes, and two Academy Award nominations. The level of intelligence, thought, and creativity and ingenuity that he's brought to film is incalculable. With numerous film and television appearances throughout his teens and early 20s, Robert's dramatic star-making turn came in 1987's Less Than Zero, where he gave a critically acclaimed performance, which led to roles in several other popular films, including Chaplin and Tropic Thunder, which won him <laughs> Oscar nods, and Sherlock Holmes, a role which won him a Golden Globe for <laughs> Best Actor. I think Robert was at a point in his life where his career was big and exciting. In 2008, Robert made film history with his Marvel Cinematic Universe debut as Tony Stark in Iron Man. Good luck keeping up. The film was directed by John Favreau, and audiences loved Robert's signature portrayal of the genius industrialist turned superhero. Yeah, I can fly. I think most of us have been pretty vocal about what he started and without him this position. His performance matched perfectly with Marvel's storytelling style. <sighs> Casting Robert Downey Jr. Perfect for Tony Stark. He can be funny and he can be witty and is at all times. He can be self-reflective in an amazing way. Creating a hero that is equal parts brash and vulnerable. I know she takes hands with me. Woo! And for more than a decade, Robert's portrayal of Iron Man has thrilled theater goers, helping to transform the MCU into one of the most successful franchises of all time. Robert appeared in an unprecedented string of blockbuster hits, ten in total, including Iron Man, Captain America Civil War, Avengers Infinity War, and culminating in Avengers Endgame the biggest box office success in history. Take that off, what are you? Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. Through charity work, including many children's hospital visits, Random Act funding, and his recently announced Footprint Coalition, Robert continues to be a hero off-screen as well. All while his ability to relate complex, multifaceted characters to audiences around the world has secured Robert Downey Jr.'s indelible mark in film history. I'm just glad that I participated in some small way with making space for all of this amazing new set of talented folks that are coming in and picking up the torch. Please welcome Tony Stark himself, the one and only Robert Downey Jr. Woo! Surprisingly friendly processing center. <laughs> Given a stern warning and returned to, if memory serves, one very disappointed group chaperone. <laughs> I've been sitting on that shame for a while and I'm just going to release it here. Tonight. I would like to make amends to whomever had to detain me for smoking pot in the gondola without a license. <laughs> <laughs> 
and I, I'm sorry, I don't want to further confuse the issue by insinuating that pot smoking licenses for the gondola are in any way obtainable, <laughs> or for any of the other park attractions, as far as I know. I mean, that's it, you know, it's appropriate. Maybe the Imagineers, but that's their own business. <laughs> anyway, that's a load off. Um, this is beautiful. Um, I, I had a feeling that today would be special, and I, I'm delighted to be among such a rich and diverse group of humans. We're all seeking to reflect the many. Thank you. You want to you make this a Q&A? We can do that. <laughs> um, that's later. This lens of creative expression, I think we all share a really deep and meaningful privilege. Here's my Shakespeare bit. We hold, as were, the mirror up to nature. I must have been very emotional when I wrote this. We could just scroll down to the thank yous, but... Um, <laughs> playing Tony over these many years and that thematic idea that technology can guide our species toward enlightenment or destruction, it's been, it's been a really worthwhile, and it's an ongoing meditation. It's, it's been a great gift, so I want to thank the fans who made this all possible uh, starting back in 2008. So to Victoria, Kevin, Lou and Bob, both Allens, Horn and Bergman, Joan Anthony, uh, my constant companion uh, from the very first day of shooting any of them, uh, James Dennis Rich, who's sitting over there, my right hand man, and, uh, and the brotherly bond of faith with the exceptional storyteller and my fellow honoree, John Favreau. I should <laughs> So here's what I get to do. I get to remain a fan of the first inclusive and evolving cinematic universe ever so far. And uh, yeah, here's the future.